Most golfers that I see find it really hard to square the face, and all of us have been there in our game at some point. Well, well today I'm going to show you my number one drill to allow you to whip the golf club through, but square that face. Because we all know the old adage, as a club golfer, we add speed, we find it harder to square the face. So in today's video, I have got you sorted. This is my whip the golf club through drill. And by the way, what is the number one winter essential? Well, one of these has to be it. So the position we're really trying to achieve is this point on the way through. And I think this is great because no matter your age or ability, we can create sort of a static feeling of where we're trying to travel to. So most of us have this concept of, we know we want to have that club face square at impact. Okay. I want you to think about, okay, if it's square at impact, what's it then gonna be at first parallel? Okay, because We've got to understand that this golf club is swung on an arc around us, so as it continues to go past the golf ball, the club face will then close, okay? It'll go square to slightly closed. So if I address this right now, I want you to follow this process. And if you're at home, you know what? Just place your hands on the floor like this, just together, and you can do these same things as me and follow this drill. If not, watch this, save this, and take it to the range with you. So follow this process. Just put your right hand down if you're a right-handed golfer, your left hand down if you're a left-handed golfer. Your opposite hand on your opposite shoulder. Open up the hips, move through, reach. Now look what happens to this golf club. This golf club naturally makes a little bit of an arc. It naturally starts to turn over a little bit, okay? Now this is that process of going square to slightly closed as we release it through. So the position we're trying to really achieve is this on the way through. Nice open hips, nicely released golf club, and really feeling like we're in posture. Now you might be thinking, Alex, what does that have to do with how I'm gonna whip the golf club through in the downswing? But as I said, knowing the concept of having the club face square to then released is so vital for us because a lot of us have this club face open even through the golf ball at this point as we cut across it. So use this drill right now. Now I think it's, it's upwards of sort of 99% of golfers have been affected by this at some point. So let's learn this in two stages. The first thing I want to talk about here is letting it drop and getting the whip and then bringing in how we square the face at impact and release it on the way through. And by the end of the video, you're gonna be able to do both of these points together. So the first part of this drill is really simple. So when we grab this golf club in both hands, it effectively becomes very, very light, doesn't it? We can move this club in any what direction. However, with that being said, when we take one of our hands off the golf club, it then becomes, well, relatively quite heavy. So this is the drill. Let's make your best backswing you possibly can. So really feeling like you're getting a good coil and a good wind up with some width. You're then gonna take your bottom hand off the golf club, okay? Place it behind your back. This is so key. I want you to get the feeling now of letting gravity take that club behind you, keeping its width around the body, and then you're just gonna let it swing through. You can really feel, and this is more of a hearing thing as well. You can really hear the whoosh of air. No real whoosh. Just like that. So really feel you make your best backswing you can, you're taking your trail hand off, and you're letting this golf club drop with gravity behind you as you turn into the golf ball and whip it through. 
And I would really encourage you just to simply give that a go. As I said, if you're at home, you could just simply feel like you're getting your arm to whip through. Because essentially, that's the golf club as well. And it's really learning this. So just have a look at this from this perspective. So again, we're gonna take a really nice athletic backswing. Take your bottom hand off, let it drop, let it whip through. Now, one thing that you're gonna really start to notice here, as I'm letting that club drop behind the body, it is easier for me to attack that golf ball from the inside. It's not working out and away from me early, it really feels like it's working behind the body. Now this is gonna be, by all means, very, very strange for most of us, but strange is good right now. If you're someone who's a chronic over the top swinger and doesn't whip the golf club through, we have to feel the opposite, right? This is that. So let's just place our golf club, our driver, on the side for the next part of this video. We now know what we're doing to start that drop and that first part of whew, that whip. And if you think about it, if I had a towel in my hand doing the same thing, the towel would be behind me and I'd really whip it round my body. That would be my fastest way of doing this. Now, I said to you at the start, most of us, when we start adding some speed, we, we really start losing that club face. And if we do that doing this, I warn you, this is so important that you watch this next bit because if you're generating more speed and you still can't control your face, this big misses. So this is the real nooks and crannies of bringing in the whip and the square face. So put your hands together up to the top, bottom hand of the off the club, let it whip into impact. Now look at the position of my wrist into impact. It is really nice and flat. It is really working sort of thumb pointing behind me, thumb down to the golf ball and over. So I want you to practice allowing your arm to work from on the chest into impact and then slightly working off the chest as your palm works up towards the sky. So you can really see the motion I'm creating here is my ability to control this club face. And again, to the top, down, logo of my glove to target, arm works off the body, and we start to really release it. So we're learning to get that club square at the point of impact and then released on the way through. Let's bring back the driver. So I've now got my driver and I think this is really now a point at which we bring this all together. So remind yourself from the top. Top of the backswing, bottom hand off. You're letting that club work behind you squaring it into impact, let it take its natural course. Now, I always talked about using gravity on this side. Now I want you to use gravity on this side and don't fight the weight of the club taking its natural arc around the body. Again, with two hands on, we can fight it this way, we can fight it this way. So watch this, just inside the golf ball now, I'm gonna do this with a little bit more speed. Up, hand off, letting it really take my body, letting it really whip through. Now look at the dynamicness to my golf swing. Look at the feeling of square, released, whilst being in posture. When it's one-handed, I can't hit it very far doing it like this. I have to use my body to its best of its ability. So if I just hit one away here really slowly, I'm gonna do this one-handed. To the top, bottom hand off, and letting this club drop, and through, and letting the club whip round. It's really having that aspect of this. Now, what does this look like? It looks like an everyday movement if I was gonna throw 
a frisbee out the back of my hand. And essentially, this is all it's about. So we now have my favorite drill for allowing you to whip the golf club round and square that face up into impact. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do hope this gives you a great feeling of being able to whip that golf club through. So it's simple, both hands on, take it off and let the golf club use gravity to take its natural course. Thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the same time.